In this particular video we're going to show you various ways you can scalp a market on Betfair. This market is the under 1.5, it's France v England, played yesterday, just doing the audio today. And the idea being here is that on every Euro game so far the unders have dropped very quickly within the first couple of minutes. So whilst I wouldn't recommend using these sort of amounts of staking, um, more so in the under 1.5, it really is a case of getting in and out within about 90 seconds, two minutes maximum. Um, because I just basically think that the price will drop very quickly and it's very unlikely we'll see a goal in the first minute between these two sides who are generally pretty sort of um, defensive. So we put the price in, it's been matched just before kickoff, gone in two ticks lower, fairly near the front of the queue. And the idea of the trade is that uh, basically with the under 2.5 so low, it's going to take sort of a, almost a contrarian view here and lay the unders um, because it's um, there is so much value there. Lay it for £50. So we've got a liability of sort of uh, £22, £23 there. And the insurance we get on the 1.5 here will more or less cover that. So just kind of waiting here, wait for something to happen. We've been matched, uh, we took £20 there, it dropped uh, about 60, 75 seconds it came in and uh, we got free £20 on the under 1.5 which goes a long way to covering obviously the, um, the red on the 2.5. Now moving on to the correct score market, looking for sort of uh, opportunities here on the nil one, the one nil, and try and give us a little bit more cover and some profits in case the game does actually finish sort of a low scorer. That's uh, what everyone was expecting here, sort of a one nil, nil one, one one. And best time to scout is the start of a match. First five minutes is the. Um, is the main time I get in and out. Um, the least amount of goals are scored at this particular time. So you get in, in and out, you make your ticks, and you can then use that as uh, insurance on a strategy used at uh, tradingfootball.eu. Uh, or you can just green up and move on to the next game. As thought, there's uh, very little action happening. First three, four minutes. So by using £25 stakes, knowing that um, we have £50 on over 2.5, it's almost a little bit of a buffer, knowing that the worst scenario we actually get caught here and a goal is scored. Um, it's not the end of the world because we have some money on over 2.5. So by only scalping for £25, we could come out for uh, a very small loss. Um, plus the other thing is, the 1-0 and 0-1, if one of the sides scores, then in such a tight affair like this game is, is meant to be, and the unders being so low, that if a goal does actually go in, the 1-0 or the 0-1 will not actually drift out but it will probably remain the same or even come in a few ticks. So again, it's not the end of the world if a goal is scored here. But obviously for demonstration purposes and for this video, um, I'm hoping obviously uh, there isn't a goal scored. <laughs> so we're just waiting, just waiting to get matched. Very, uh, very tight affair. These two sides are uh, not the most entertaining, unfortunately, dare we say it, about our beloved national side. But they generally win their games sort of 1-0. I don't normally see golf fests with either of these two sides. So you, you, you're looking for the gaps here. You're looking to get in where there's very little money on the backside. So you're at the end as it's about to drop. And once that happens, if, say, there's a, there's a dangerous um, uh, 
the situation for one of the sides, there's a corner, there's a free kick. You can then scratch it um, at the same price. Or the worst scenario, you take a, a tick loss as the price bumps up. So, but the idea is you get on at the end of the queue so that the price comes in. You're looking for the gaps. You submit your lay as soon as your back's been matched. And you're just, uh, just nipping in and out of the market, just taking a tick. When you get more experience, you'll take two or three ticks. And ideally, you have to have a ladder interface to do this. This is a Bet Angel Professional. Um, I know uh, Bingo uses uh, the Geek, which is also excellent for, um, for scalping because of the ladder. And if you're serious about trading, you have to have one of these two uh, uh, softwares. You know, Betfair alone is, uh, is, is not good enough. And what actually happened with this game? Well, the, the game actually went to 1-1. So uh, green the 2.5 uh, for £27 uh, and took a £5 loss on the 1-1 because I'd backed the nil-nil for five pounds. So it was a little 22 pound profit. In and out, half time, 45 minutes, job done, on to the next game. And that's uh, it's exactly how you, how you do it. And on to the next game was the game last night, which was a pretty entertaining game. Game of two halves, as the old cliche goes. Pretty dull affair in the first half, but then it um, came to life in the second half, and we saw uh, three goals. And there's just uh, just confirmation of the uh, the green up France England. So on we go to the game last night which was uh, nil nil at half time. So as I was saying to the guys in the chat room, what you do is you look to submit your lays sort of two or three ticks lower um, than the, um, the half time as the half time whistle goes. And you can see here, one of our lays has been matched already at 3.5. Um, another one's been matched there. You've got to watch closely. You can see on the right hand side what has actually been matched. So We've now been matched for two lays. And as soon as the lays match, we then uh, back it on the other side. So you can see we laid at 3.45, we laid at 3.5, and we backed at 3.5 and 3.6. So our last lay didn't actually get taken there before it drifted up. But, you know, that, that's not a problem. That's not, not a big deal because, you know, we've made £30 there. Uh, I did have eight pounds from uh, a little bit of pre-match uh, scalping. Um, so, you know, we now have 38 pounds on the nil-nil. So we're going to do the same on the one nil to Ukraine, the home side, using 200 pound stakes. Again, there's sort of not a great deal of money on either side here. So idea is if you get to the front of the queue, then there's every likelihood that you you will get matched. The price will come back in. You'll get nibbled at until all of your state money is taken. Uh, another way of profiting scalping is uh, pre-match trading. Um, and there is a, an excellent trading tool for, for profiting before the ball is kicked at um, prematchtrading.com. Um, it's a brilliant tool. A lot of the guys, they, um, they make their green before kickoff and then they uh, use it with a strategy um, a trading football to, to, to make even more in profits. Um, the tool has just been reviewed by uh, an independent reviewer who's given it a uh, massive thumbs up and he's going to be looking to, um, um, to put something out there for the new season, you know, which we're pretty excited about. 
and he certainly wouldn't be doing that if it wasn't uh, wasn't very good. So just waiting for this to be taken, just waiting for this to be batched. You can see here. So we made a little twenty pounds on the one nil, which again is excellent cover for the um, the Clint strategy that we're actually doing here. Uh, it was a little bit of a waste because I had all that money on the nil nil, and of course, what happens? A goal goes into Sweden in the second half. Um, but the game worked out very well. The game finished 2 1. Um, profits were assured. I actually jumped on the over 3.5 as well. A little bit of a sneaky over 3.5 at kickoff. And, um, you know, ended up, uh, ended up picking sort of 60 pounds up for the two games. The guys in chat did very well as well. They got on a nugget nibble in the afternoon with bingo. An unofficial trade, but they picked up 18, 19 pounds there. Uh, the Nags room goes from strength to strength in the afternoons, plus there is evening racing as well, tradingfootball.eu. Uh, profits are uh, being made there as well, which we're pleased to see. And there's our chat community, 60 people in, excellent. And there we go, it's just showing you the score now. Uh, 3.5, I think it was at 134 or something, 135. So I laid it for 50 pounds just before kickoff. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you again next time.
Thank you. 